Hi guys, and welcome to Curated Logic. Today we're going to be doing some matchstick puzzles. Matchstick puzzles have been around for hundreds of years as a way of not only providing entertainment but also testing people's brains. In this part of what is to be a series of puzzles, I will be providing 10 matchstick puzzles for you to solve. I have put the puzzles in order from easiest to hardest as I see it, but you may find, depending on how your brain works, that some of the harder puzzles are actually quite easy for you. Each of the puzzles will be on the screen for about 30 seconds, with the last 10 seconds counted down. After this, the answer will be shown. If you need more time, feel free to pause at any point. For some puzzles, I'll be providing some extra information, but on the whole, I'm just going to let you go and see how you do. But just one rule to begin with, in none of the puzzles will the matches be able to be broken. You must use each match as it is. So with that sorted out, let's begin. If you want an extra clue, go onto our Instagram page at Curated Logic and have a look at the location we posted with this particular puzzle. This puzzle is similar to the last one in that we are trying to make three squares of equal size. However, you're not allowed to get rid of any matches here. You just have to move three matches into a different place. Equation riddles are common within matchstick puzzles and this one I feel is a particularly good one. For this puzzle, make sure you remember that triangles come in all different sizes. So as you can see, we've made four triangles in the middle of one larger triangle, making it five triangles.
With this puzzle, it's good to think back to an earlier puzzle. Once again, four squares inside one larger square. I must slightly apologise for this animation, but what it is trying to show is that six equally sized matches can make four equilateral triangles by forming a triangular based pyramid. One triangle on the bottom as the base, and the other three as the sides of the pyramid. And we're on to the final puzzle. Two extra rules for this particular puzzle are that the matches cannot be overlaid, and all four matches that you are moving must be contained within the inside of the square. And there you have it. I left this particular puzzle till last because I think the solution is elegant. Thank you so much again for joining me on Curated Logic. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please feel free to subscribe or comment below. And if you're in the mood, you can have a look at one of our old videos and give yourself a bit of a challenge. Until next time, keep your brain active and have fun.